So let's take a moment to look at the most basic thing you can do in the Calendar app which is to create a new event. It's pretty simple but there are a lot of different parts and different ways to do it. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're in the right calendar because you can have multiple calendars and whichever one you have selected is the one that the event is going to be created in. You can change it later but it's easiest just to set it right first. If you don't see the list of calendars to the left click the Calendars button here. It reveals and hides it. So Select the one you want. Maybe just use one calendar for everything. It doesn't matter. Um, but in this case I have work and home so I'm going to make sure work is selected. Then I'm going to go and switch to month view. Now you can do day view, week, year and create events and all of those. But month is the easiest one so we'll use it for this example here. And then just double click in the box where you want the new event to be created. And you can see it puts a little temporary new event placeholder there. And there's a series of fields you can fill in. So name the event. And then you could tab through the fields or click to move to a new one. An event may or may not have a location. Uh, you can change the exact time by simply clicking on the element you want to change. So the date is right in this case, but I want to change the time. Instead of 9, I want to make it 11. And I can simply type to change that. And then the ends I can actually choose from a list here or I can type again. So I'll, I'll do 1 at p.m. And make sure the a.m. and p.m. are set correctly. It's very easy when you're changing these times to forget to change a.m. and p.m. You hear all the time about somebody getting an alarm for something at 3 a.m. for a meeting they really have at 3 p.m. That kind of thing. Then there are other settings but for the most part this is what you want. You want to set an alert for either at the time of the event so you get an alert right at that moment or for a certain amount of time before it. And if you're using an iCloud calendar and you're using the same iCloud calendar on your iPhone then you will get an alert, a notification on the phone as well as on your Mac. So let's uh, have a notification 10 minutes before. But the rest of it I can leave you know, as more advanced kinds of things. I do use notes a lot though. If you click down below you can now enter a note. So this is where you can put meeting notes. Things you need to do, uh, you want to get reminded of at the time that you're reminded of the event. And that's about it. You do have the ability right here to change calendars. So if you did start with the wrong calendar, you can change it. But otherwise, when you're done, just simply hit Return and the event is there. If you ever want to edit this event, just double click it. This comes up again and you can click on any part of it, like the time there, to change the time and the alert. Or the notes, and you can actually just type notes right in there. And then click elsewhere. To close it. And that's all you need to do. You can also drag and drop to change the event. So, for instance, some in month view, I can drag it to another day and it will keep the same time. If I was, say, in day view, I could actually drag this down and up to change the time. And I could also just double click on it to get the same information here and edit it. Now, there is another way to add an event. That's pretty simple. You can use this plus button here. Just click it and it allows you to quickly create an event and it gives you an example. Movie at 7 p.m. on Friday. So you can do the same kind of thing. You could say test event at 3 p.m. and you could say June 2. And you can see it created it perfectly just like you wanted it and it allows you then to go in and edit more information right there. You could actually type the quick event in a lot of different ways. Lunch tomorrow and it creates it. And then it even sets it to noon because you said lunch. It gets that one right. Gets that one right. So you can type in lots of different ways uh, and it will get it right. But it always brings up the little box there so you can make adjustments if it didn't quite get it right. So there's some shortcuts that are handy to know. If you don't want to hit the plus button there, you can do Command N and it brings it up right there. So you can just Command N type without having to lift your fingers off the keyboard. If you select an event, you can use Command E to edit it. 
Or if you'd rather it not just appear in that little bubble there you can do Command Option I and it brings up a complete window here that's different than the bubble. And also you can use Tabs to go back and forth to the next event. Shift Tab to go back. When you're editing you can go in and you can use Tab to go between items there. So you can see I'm just tabbing and shift tabbing to go back. So you can very easily go here. I'll hit return and now I'm editing the time and I can tab through those items there. So it's very easy to be able to use just the keyboard uh, for the most part to be able to navigate around, create new events, and edit existing ones.